In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to flexible budgets and standard costs, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us, but, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our CPA six pack shirts, a must have for any pool or beach time. Mixing money with muscle, always sure to attract attention. Yeah, even if you're not a CPA, you need this shirt. So you can like pull in that iconic CPA six pack stomach muscle vibe, man. You know, that CPA six pack everyone envisions in their mind when they think CPA. Yeah, as a CPA, I actually and unusually don't have tremendous abs. However, I was blessed with a whole lot of belly hair. Yeah, allowing me to sculpt the hair into a nice CPA six pack like shape which is highly attractive. Yeah, may maybe the shirt will help you generate some belly hair too. And if it does, make sure to let me know. Maybe I'll try wearing it on my head. A and yes, I know six pack isn't spelled right, but three letters is more efficient than four. So I trimmed it down a bit, okay? It's an improvement. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. First question, flexible budget performance report compares either A, actual performance and the performance of related companies, B, actual performance and budgeted performance based on actual sales volume, C, budgeted performance, different periods. D, actual performance and budgeted performance based on budgeted sales volume. Or E, actual performance and standard costs at the budgeted sales volume. All right, let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Flexible budget performance report compare. So we got a flexible budget performance report. What does it compare? Either A, actual performance and the performance of related companies so a, f a flexible budget now it's not really a budget that's going to be related to other companies we're talking about a flexible company uh, budget within our company within our organization typically so it's not really a it's not going to be compared to outsiders we're not benchmarking here b actual performance and budgeted performance based on actual sales volume so that could be we might say that sounds reasonable c says budgeted performance different periods so we might say okay it's a the flexible budget is a budget uh, for different periods maybe we'll do in a comparison between different periods i'll keep that for now d says actual performance and budgeted performance so the flexible budget that's typically our process in budgeting in general so i'll keep that for now and e says actual performance and standard costs at the budgeted sales volume so i'll keep that for now let's go through this again flexible budget performance report companies um flexible budget performance report compares either b actual performance and budgeted performance based on actual sales volume c budgeted performance different periods d actual performance and budgeted performance based on budgeted sales volume or e actual performance and standard cost at the budgeted sales volume now note that of these answers B and E uh, sound really similar and, and D sounds kind of similar too as well. So we want to compare kind of the differences between those items. So actual performance. So I'm going to say that's probably going to eliminate then C and D as being a little bit different. We might, you might keep D as a comparison as well. But if we compare these two, we'll say the actual performance and budget performance based on actual sales or the actual performance and standard costs at the budgeted sales volume so of those two we're actually comparing to the actual sales volume and that might seem a little bit confusing because we're talking about the flexible budget performance report uh but note that remember the flexible budget the, the point of it is when we have the flexible we have the flexibility of the budget that helps us to plan at the beginning the flexible budget in, in the planning process and then when, when we have the performance report the point of the flexible budget is for us to then be able to compare 
the actual results in an apples to apples, same thing to same thing type of process, meaning we're going to flex our budget to be equal to what the actual sales volume is so that we can then make a comparison and be comparing like items based on the sales volume. So final answer, flexible budget performance report compares B, actual performance and budgeted performance based on actual sales volume.